Our journey begins in a giant molecular cloud, a cold, dark region of interstellar space filled with massive clouds of hydrogen, helium, and cosmic dust. These clouds stretch across light years and float silently in the void for millions of years until something triggers them. A nearby supernova, a passing shock wave, or even the gravitational nudging of nearby stars can send ripples through the cloud and awaken its slumbering potential. As gravity begins to pull the cloud inward, it starts to collapse, slowly at first, then faster. The cloud fragments into smaller pieces, each destined to become a star or nothing at all. These fragments begin to spin, conserving angular momentum, which causes them to flatten and accelerate. At the center of each spinning fragment, a core forms, dense, hot, and growing with every passing moment. This is the protostar, a star in the making. This process isn't smooth, it's turbulent and chaotic. Gas and dust crash together in violent waves. Magnetic fields twist and snap. Jets of superheated matter burst outward from the core at hundreds of kilometers per second. It's a war between collapse and resistance gravity pulling inward, pressure pushing back, and magnetic forces coiling around like serpents. Even at this stage, some stars are doomed torn apart before they ever truly ignite. Surrounding the protostar is an accretion disk, a swirling ring of dust and gas. This is the star's personal reservoir, feeding it, nurturing it. But this disk is more than just fuel. It's a womb for future worlds. Tiny grains of dust begin to stick together, forming pebbles, then rocks, then planetesimals. Given enough time, these may become planets orbiting the star they were born beside. From the wreckage of a collapsing cloud, life itself may one day emerge. Deep in the protostar's core, temperatures continue to climb. Millions of degrees, densities a thousand times greater than lead. The particles inside are desperate to escape, but gravity holds them captive. It's a pressure cooker of cosmic proportions, and eventually something gives way. When the temperature hits around 10 million Kelvin, the conditions are right for something monumental to occur. Nuclear fusion. The protostar ignites. Hydrogen atoms are crushed together under gravity's immense force, fusing into helium. This reaction releases a tremendous amount of energy radiation, heat, and light that push back against gravity in a perfect, delicate balance. The star stabilizes. It is no longer a protostar, it is a main sequence star. It has begun its true life.